In my previous tutorial, I have introduced find the k closed points to center and find the shortest path between cells in matrix. Today, I'm going to have the third and the last find the shortest uh, tutorial. It is a find shortest distance in graph. I will walk you through the famous Dextra algorithm and use it to solve find the second shortest as well. Here is a question statement. You are given a graph and use an algorithm that can find the shortest path between any two nodes. Now you have to find the second shortest path between the same two nodes. There are many algorithms to solve shortest paths in graph. Here are the major ones. Brad's first search, BFS search its neighbors first, then move on to search the neighbor's neighbor. Brad's first search can be used when edge doesn't have weight. The time complexity is O V plus E. V is the number of vertices. E is the number of edges. Dextra algorithm, when edge has a weight. Dextra algorithm is the first option. It cannot apply when there is a negative weight edge. Time complexity is O V square. In the implementation with priority queue, it drops down to O V plus E log V. Bellman Ford's algorithm, if there is a negative edge, Bellman Ford's algorithm is used. It is slower. The time complexity of Bellman Ford's algorithm is O V times E. Floyd Marshall algorithm is also an algorithm used to find the shortest path in a weighted graph with positive or negative edge weights. Its advantage is one single execution will find the shortest path between all pairs of vertices. The time complexity is the highest, O V3. Today, we will focus on Dextra algorithm. There are multiple ways to represent a graph. The most used are adjacent list and adjacent matrix. An adjacent list is a bucket of separate lists. Each element, gi, is a list which contains all the vertices that are adjacent to vertex i. For a weighted graph, the weight of the edge is stored along with the vertex in the list. We can use an array or map to represent the whole graph which consists of the vertices. An adjacent matrix is a v times v matrix. The element m i j in the matrix has a value if there is an edge from vertex i to vertex j. It represents a weight. If there is no direct connection between i and j, the value is zero. Today, we will be using adjacent matrix in our implementation. We also assume the graph is undirected for easy understanding. Dexter algorithm, it can be summarized to the following steps. To demonstrate each step, how distance is calculated, we will walk through an example. In this graph, we will find the shortest path from 2 to 4. Initially, the distance table will look like this. The first column is all vertices in the graph. The second column is the smallest distance from vertex 2 to this vertex. The value is 0 to itself. Others are max value at the beginning. In the first step, we update all values if there is edge between 2 and the vertex. Now, we select the smallest distance among them, which is 5. The vertex is 1. The next step will use vertex 1 to reach other vertices. After execution, we can update the table to the new values. We update the third column with 1 if we can get a smaller value through vertex 1 to that vertex. Since all vertices have been reached, we can conclude the result. From source vertex 2 to destination 4, the shortest distance is 6. To find the second shortest distance, the idea is to remove each edge in the shortest path. Call Dextra again. The smallest value will be the second shortest distance. It is 8 in our case. Now let's look at the code. At the top, we define class variables. Next is a function that implements Dextra. It is worth mentioning shortest stores shortest distance from source vertex to all vertices. The parents save the previous vertex that's in the shortest path. After initialization, we will go through each vertex 
and find the smallest distance. Save the vertex associated with it. We are going to use this vertex as a source vertex to calculate the distance to other vertices. If the total distance is smaller than what's stored in the shortest array, we update the values in the shortest and the parents. At the end of the function, we add the shortest distance to the return set. We also call add pass. Add pass is a recursion function to add vertices in the shortest path by using the parent array. This path will be used for find second shortest distance. Inside the find second shortest function, we loop through each vertex in the shortest path. We get the pair of source and distance. After saving the value for future restore, we remove the edge between source and distance by setting that value to be zero. Then call shortest path to recalculate. When all vertices in the path have been executed, the second shortest distance will be found and saved to the return set. In the main function, we define an adjacent matrix, the source and the destination, then call shortest path and find second shortest. Now we print the result. Let's run the code. The shortest distance is 6. The second shortest distance is 8. From the previous walkthrough, we know it is correct. The time complexity of a shortest distance is on square. The space complexity is on. To get the second shortest, the time complexity is on3. The space complexity is on. That's it for find shortest and the second shortest distance in graph. Please leave your comments below. I'm Vivian. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will talk to you soon.